All right, what's one thing that we never really eat, Jake? Pakistani food? No, like, I, I was talking about breakfast, like. Oh yeah, we don't eat breakfast. Pakistani food, how'd you even get that? I don't know, I was just thinking about it. <laughs> Alright, with that being said, what's up guys, how you guys doing? My name is Brennan Taylor, this is my brother Jake Taylor, and welcome to our Fortunate Life Choices. You know it's down here when all that's happening. Oh, right? shit. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going to be trying some breakfast food, and not just any kind of breakfast food, five-star breakfast in our area, the best reviewed breakfast we could find. And is that ice cream or an egg on that? I don't know, man. I found this waffle place that serves the absolute most aesthetic looking waffles I've ever seen. Here's some photos now. Whoa. I, all I gotta say is, look at that. I've never had Nutella on a waffle, but you know, I'm kind of actually thinking about it now. Great spot for some delicious, affordable brunch. Came by myself, usually what I do when I go eat, except when Jake's with me, because I was craving some goyed waffles. <laughs> the food was amazing, the service was great, and it wasn't a long wait. Everything I look for in brunch. I mean, the photo they had posted was not the best. The waffle looks good back here, but I don't know what this egg it's thing like is. But that waffle, though. Which means we gotta try this waffle here. Great neighborhood find, nestled in the back with a pretty courtyard you can dine in. Mm. I love the traditional waffle. It is simply delicious with fresh fruit and ripped whipped cream. With fresh fruit, with fresh fruit and whipped cream. My family loves almost everything on the menu. It all looks super good. I mean, I'm always excited when I do these five stars because it's like I know that I'm gonna be set up for a good day already. Yeah. Because when I have these one stars, it's just like, oh, I, 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 I like I regret them before I even do them, you know? The best place for breakfast in Los Angeles. Everything is good. I will be back next time for breakfast. My two-year-old kids love the banana waffles. Look at this, they actually replied. We're so happy you and your family loved your breakfast, Maria. It's wonderful to know Know the banana waffles were a hit and we can't wait to see you next time like that's good service right there they're replying to people they want people to know that we we thank you for coming to our restaurant and like three days later like they're pretty quick look at they're replying to other people too you know what i mean like they're replying to all these comments look at them all yeah they clearly give a damn about their audience favorite place for breakfast beautiful atmosphere and fountain food is very good and the waffles are delicious I that's it next to the fountain. i want to sit next to the fountain and it's a favorite breakfast place supposedly this is one of the top places on yelp for breakfast so i'm pretty excited i think we should just go out and try it for ourselves what we do with the series is we want to see is this place really five stars we're going to let you know we're going to be we're honest and we're going to be nonchalant with filming so that they don't give us any special treatment, but let's go try this place out. Whee! I'm ready to eat, baby. Want some waffles too? Come on, folks. This is the place right here. First thoughts, honestly, it looks like a little hole in the wall, you know, and that's usually the best places, like my mom said. But usually everywhere we've tried has always been like holes in the walls for the five stars. So I'm not gonna be surprised if this place is the best waffle I've ever had. Let's go in and try it because it's raining down on me and my camera's gonna break. So let's get in there, let's order some waffles. Okay. First initial thoughts when we walked in, very cute. I feel like I just walked into a cottage. Uh, a very homey vibe. You know, you know that episode of SpongeBob where they like the nanny, like the grandma makes her the cookies and it's like the scary. Now who wants to lick the spoon? This is literally this place is man. Like it's almost it almost looks too good to be true. It's very cute, very nice, and this is like somewhere that I would want to take my family. So let's check out the menu. Let's see what it looks like, prices and whatnot. Oh, Fifteen bucks for some damn waffles. Better be the best damn waffles of my life. This is expensive. <laughs> I'm breaking the bank for some waffles right now, y'all. Are the coffees free with yeah. Oh, legendary. Love that. Quick question about the menu. Um, I just got witches. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Got it. Oh, shit, you yeah. <laughs> know? That's what he likes. <laughs> well, the first thing on the menu is waffles, so we have to get waffles. One thing about the coffee is how did he just assume that I liked it black? I'm just saying. I didn't get any creamer, I didn't get any nothing. But although I do like it black, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. If I was someone else, right? I'd be kind of like sad. I, I wouldn't be able to drink this right now. Yeah. Tastes like watered down coffee. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain about the coffee because this ain't Starbucks. It's a Waffle House. Gotta talk about the waffles. Damn, look at this. Only 140 calories in one waffle. So if I get two waffles, that's only 280. And if I only get three, that's only 300, 420. Like, Without any I need three. Coffee. I need three for David Dobrik. 420, baby. And how come you guys have questions? Yes. Um, We've never been here. We've never been here. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, we're very excited to eat here. We just have a question like, what is like beautiful looking, most delicious waffle you guys have? Because I, <laughs> I saw some pictures of some that looked pretty cool. The love the one? The love waffle, it's dipped in dark Belgian chocolate, strawberries, and whipped cream. Mm. Oh, that's cream. one with ice cream. That's one I oh, want. Oh, that one has ice cream on it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to get that one? All right, what's another good one? Do you want some fruit or do you want something like really sweet? Um, I kind of like fruit. 
Yes, you want to yeah. do the ultimate? It's really nice. Well, it has all the fruit and has the nuts and then the whipped cream, the sugar. All right, yeah, let's yes. do that one. Okay, all make right. Make it delicious with extra love and make it beautiful. Yes, I'll tell them that. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's, that's it. That's okay. it. Do you have almond milk? milk? Yeah. Okay, almond, almond milk. milk. Thank okay. you so much. You're Sometimes you got to just ask, you know? Yeah. And I told him I wanted the, the things cooked with extra love. So if we don't get an extra love, love waffle set. I'm gonna turn it back. I'm gonna turn it back. She's pretty nice. She's pretty nice. The service so far, uh, you know, I, I can see why they have some good reviews. It's just crazy to me. It's like when we go to a one star and we do this, like how rude they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they know they're like, well, that's like, why they have one stars. Why don't they try to like redeem themselves, you know? I don't know. We're trying to start some new series, so. Let me know if you guys want some more crazy food series and let me know what you guys are liking and what you're not liking so I can do more of what you're liking and less of what you're not liking. Yeah, because we don't want to waste time. We don't want to waste no one's time. We just want to deliver the best type of content because 2019, Definitely. we're coming and we're taking over the YouTube space. We're going to own this whole podcast. And we might start vlogging again on another channel. Would you guys like that? Because I have a second channel that just sits there with like 50,000 subs. We were thinking about making a Jake Brennan vlog channel. Because we, we do a lot of stuff besides eating. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more in our day than just eating, but all we show is the eating. So let us know in the comments if you want to see a, like a vlog channel. This is Jake's bathroom review. First reaction, it is really, really clean. It smells really clean. It smells like they just came in here right before I was coming in here and sprayed it. <laughs> they have a fan. Just in case you make a big poopy and you want the air to get fresh. They also have vents up here. A little dirty, but like that's dust. <laughs> My favorite thing, they got a porta potty. Yeah, you see, that's a urinal. And a toilet. And a trash can with a bag. With a bag? Yes! And that was my bathroom review. And I always do that. God. Excuse me. Can I get some almond milk? I was waiting for the almond milk for this, but she hasn't come back. Thank you. I'm not gonna complain about service, but you know, she just came to take an order 10 minutes ago and I'm still waiting on that almond milk. But you know what, I'm giving people benefit of the doubt because you never know, they have, might have a lot of their schedule. It's the service. It might just be about the food, you know? The service does lay a part in the rating. Definitely. Because definitely. like when I'm rating something, I wanna, I wanna give it my full review. Oh wow, it's here already. Yes. Awesome. You knew Whoa. you guys were coming. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. All right, so here's the love waffle. Wow. And here's the ultimate. Wow, thank you there so you much. You're welcome. Okay, so the food presentation looks very good. The whipped cream is starting to melt, so cue the food porn shot now. Now it is time to indulge. I've actually been very picky all my life and have never eaten anything on a waffle except for syrup. So this is gonna be a big change for me. And I wanted to say thank you to you guys for inspiring me to change my life and try new foods. I'm really stoked on those ice cream. That thing was amazing. I need a bite of that. So let's just, uh, do we put syrup on this? No. You just eat it, right? I don't know, man, but just a strawberry for either. Explain it. Mm. <laughs> That looks like a pure orgasm, man. The outside is crunchy, but the inside soft right. like a pillow. I'm not waiting any longer. Hold on. When it has the chocolate Nutella, plus the whipped cream, the whipped cream tastes so fresh. Like it was just literally made. All right, here we go. And I don't know how they make whipped cream. And I haven't even tried the ice cream yet, just mind you. I feel like I need syrup or something at mine. Like, it's good, but come on. You need strawberry jam. Did you already put that on yours? I don't need strawberry, I have all the Nutella and stuff. Get some ice cream in that bitch, too. <laughs> I never knew I needed that in my life until right this moment, guys. Mm. It's literally the perfect combination of sweet with fruity with a little sugary toppings of whipped cream and ice cream. Mine, I can't, mine, I, I decided to go fruity, you know? I think you can put syrup on it. I don't know what's wrong with mine. Tastes like I'm just eating a bunch of fruit. But I mean, I did go fruity. Let me try let me, let me try a good significant amount of jelly this time. Wow. I mean, that was pretty good that second bite. Mm. Yeah, I'm slow down. We also ordered this, I don't know what that is. It's a uh, potato. I'm gonna give that a go. I mean, the waffle's good. Jake's is way better. Kind of messed up ordering this one, but. Let me try this one. Go ahead, try it. I feel like with this one, we should just kind of like, right? Yeah. Oh, you should have got that shot. Oh. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh. Oh. Okay, a lot of cheese, so if you don't like cheese, this isn't the place for you. 
It has cheese and bacon. Look at the bacon bricks. Really, get the shot of me going in here. Like, oh my god. Hey, that ain't food porn. I don't know what it is. Jake smells water behind the camera. Like, all right, here we go. This is the biggest bite I've ever done. That's breakfast. So it's very cheesy, but the cheese adds to the flavor because if you didn't have the cheese, it'd be very just potatoey. So the cheese just gives it like an extra little like zesty flavor. How'd you guys with my fork? I don't know, man. It really just adds to it, man. Just get everything in one bite. Oh no, a fallen comrade. There we go. Yeah, get that cheese. You're a dirty boy, aren't you? Aren't you a dirty boy? Mm, I'm a dirty boy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, right? Wait, we gotta put some sauce on that. She's highly oh, recommended. Okay, highly recommended. We're adding some sauce to it. Oh, but she said it was spicy, so be careful. All right, chill out. Go one yo, this is like heaven. Oh, yo, this is mine. That's why I ordered it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What I'm telling you that this place is good, it's like, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna say that this is the best place I've ever eaten, but I'm not it's pretty a good. huge breakfast person, so this, like, opened yeah, my like, eyes. Yes, yeah, this, yeah. this is my favorite thing. Oh, it's so good. So I good. Liked it. Yes. This is like that episode of Hannah Montana when they did beef jerkin or something, or cheese jerkin. I'm the man who had the cheese. I'm the man who had the jerkin. We put them both together. And do it really work. It's cheese jerkin. This is what this is. It's like a thing that I wouldn't normally try, but since I'm a food reviewer now, I feel like I have to try it. Jake doesn't even talk, you know, he's just out here eating. Oh like, if you know there's even mushrooms in here. Oh, wow. It's got everything. Are those special mushrooms or just normal ones? What's going on, man? We're brain food. This is what happens. Damn, we're eating this whole thing. This was supposed to be for us to try and share, you know? I better, I gotta stop talking and start eating with Jake around. God damn. I don't even really like Nutella. See, you took my fork again, man. You give me this one. Why do you keep eating my damn fork? Not the potato fork. Where's the waffle fork for this one? M.I.A. man, M.I.A. The one thing I will complain about, this place closes at 2 o'clock. Well, it's a breakfast place, what do you I expect? would come here for like dinner and eat this. <laughs> Jake's too much, man. He's way too much for me. Mmm, are you guys seeing that? Mmm. I like my coffee, how I like my women. You be the judge. All right, slow this, down, slow down, Tiger. This has so many different textures. Yeah, man, slow down, it Tiger. It has the gooey cheese mixed with the fluffy potato. Ending with the bacon crunch. Yes, it's li oh, that was such good. Explaining. And with the salsa, you, have you been studying? <laughs> yes, I've been watching Gordon Ramsay and the cooking channels and all that. I'm trying to learn. I just I'm gonna, I don't I, even want to eat. I this don't one. like that one. I'm gonna be honest. Like I didn't like that. No, waffle. this one's good. Like it tastes good, but it's just kind of very plain. You know, I'm gonna be honest. This is not something I would eat on the daily. No, definitely not. I wait, I I can do this maybe once every three months because it's gonna be way too much sugar, way too much oomph for me. You know what I mean? It's like my birthday cake. Like yeah. I'm looking around and the pancakes look really good too. I'm looking at other people's plates. So with that being said, like it's gonna make me want to come back here to try something else. Like that's like the good part about this place is that I would want to try something else. Like I'd probably come back to try something else. You know? I'm curious. Let's make bets on this bill. All right? If you, whoever gets closer doesn't have to pay. All right. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's 50 54 dollars is what I'm gonna say. Say 50. This is including tax. 56. We got one dollar each way, okay? So you have 56. That means we have both have 55 though. I'll go 52. 52, 53. So the bill is here. We have our bets. I'm at 54 dollars. I'm at 52. Drum roll, please. And the total is. 5547 with what I have. So I said we had a dollar up and a dollar down, which means I'm basically right. The subtotal was fifty dollars and sixty-five cents, four dollars tax. So I mean kind of expensive. But a lot of money for, for breakfast. breakfast. This is one reason why I don't eat breakfast is because, you know, it can get pricey anywhere you go, really. I mean, I feel like anywhere you go, actually, you're at least... Like, I don't know, though, because if you go, say, to a place like IHOP or something like that, it's only like ten bucks. This is the total. It is a little pricey. It's more than I would want to normally spend for, you know, breakfast, breakfast of all things. They do say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Let's we'll so see how the rest of our day goes now. <laughs> we'll see, you know, because we don't normally have breakfast, yeah. and yeah. Let's just pay for it. Oh, that's my credit card number. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pay for this and uh, yeah. All in all, I think the place was pretty solid. I would probably give it a good 
you know, probably maybe a four and a half out of five. If I think I, a four point five. Four point five. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Like the guy was really nice. The service was very good. Like they gave came and they gave coffee. me a to-go coffee. I didn't even ask. They asked me if I wanted it, and I was like, yeah, you know, why not? Yeah, so definitely. All the service, the food was pretty good. For actually, for what it was, the waffles. Like, where could you get better waffles? Like those were handmade. Everything was fresh. Like I don't think you can get anywhere better. So maybe from we, what we know. maybe maybe we're just kind of like it's hard to give something a perfect rating. That's the thing. Yeah, because you know like I mean? there's always things for improvement. There's always. With that being said. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And please hit the subscribe button right now. Join the Taylor family so we can Do grow it. even bigger and better. We're gonna take over 2019. We're gonna be doing crazier and crazier content each time, so get ready for that. And we also are starting a food porn Instagram. So the username is gonna be right here. We're gonna start it today, so we don't really know the username. So whatever you see on the screen right here, <laughs> go follow it. We're gonna be posting up all of our food porn because we go eat good foods all the time. Yeah. Why not show it off? Let's Do it. Maybe we'll even show some of the bad food. Anyways, go check that out. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time we post. Peace. in there and sort of some waffles. <laughs> <laughs>Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.